Nala, ready? Ready? Go get it! Good girl! Oh yeah! Come on, Nala! Come on! Nope, oh, you gotta bring it. You gotta bring it back. Come on! Nice job! I'm not over there. Girl, what you doing? Come over here. Hey everyone, this is Libby Flanagan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be staining the deck. Yay! So that makes for some fun outdoor living space just to get to spend some more time outside. So I just really quickly wanted to show you the before shot. What do we have before? All right, so we think this top part up here was like an original part of the house. The boards seem a bit older um, than the bottom part of the deck. So this is the original. Um, you can see there's some spots that look painted, some spots not. Um, and then down here, we believe that this was an add-on to the deck. Um, and some boards down here had rotted, so my husband replaced them and he built this awesome bench. So we're gonna be using this product called Deck Correct um, by Cabot and it's supposed to um, cover up any kind of issues with the wood. So since we have so many different types of wood, um, we're gonna try this product out and we'll let you know how it works at the end of the video. We have our halfway of doing the railing update. Learned a little tip for you guys. Do the sides before you do the front so that way you don't get paint on the back of your hands. And that is end of day one. So we were able to put first coat on all of the railings. I definitely recommend actually starting, we started on the inside and moved out. I would actually probably start on the out. It's a lot easier when you're like standing up and we could get to like three sides of each of the pickets. From the outside, we only like really painted one because we had already painted them on the inside. So if you have a deck like ours, I would definitely start where you can stand up. It's much more comfortable. All right, so we just wrapped up day one and I just wanted to say a quick tip. Um, as soon as you're done, start cleaning your brushes immediately while the paint's still wet. If you do that, you don't have to use any paint thinner or anything, just some warm water and some elbow grease and you'll be able to get all the paint out. Um, that's really important if you want to keep your brushes for a long time. Um, so I just really quick wanted to go over what we did before we shot this video. Um, so we replaced some of the boards that were rotted. We just pulled them up and put down new boards. Um, and then we gave everything a sand with a random orbital sander that we got from Lowe's. Um, we just used 80 grit paper, nice and rough. You don't have to have a super smooth surface um, for a deck. Um, and then we power washed the deck. There are some companies like Valspar and stuff that will sell um, like wood cleaner. You don't really have to use that. If you have a power washer, you'll be able to get all the grime off easy and that way you don't have to use any like chemicals or anything um, when cleaning your deck. Just a nice power wash will do it good. So replace boards, any rotten boards, give it a nice sand, good power wash, and then you're good to go ready to stain. So I just wanted to quickly show you um, everything that we're using to stain the deck. So I've already talked about um, the Cabot Deck Correct and we're gonna give you a review at the end of the video. Um, you also might wanna use some wood filler we had a couple places that had some holes and you know random cracks and stuff um so you can fill this in in those places so i already talked about how you want to give your deck a good sand before you get started this is the random orbital sander that we got from dewalt it works super well you plug it in it's not that heavy and it's really easy to get the job done um, we use 80 grit sandpaper so you want to make sure you buy um the rounds with it these like velcro onto the sander and they work super well super easy to do um, next, the things that you need besides that are super cheap and you can really get like any kind, a tray to put your roller in. Um, we definitely want a roller with a stick for this job. You don't want to be on your hands and knees the whole time. And then just some paintbrushes and you're good to go. Um, I like pretty paintbrushes. I don't know. My dad likes these, therefore I like them. So, um, they work super well. They're really hardy. You give them a good clean when you're done every time. Um, they last you a really long time. So we've already used these for like four or five jobs 
and a growing storm. Um, so that's it. Stick around. Hang out for day two. All right, I think that is, oh, I think that's it for day two. So we got all of the first coat completed. It's already starting to dry in a lot of places. Um, we rolled everything, we brushed everything. I think we're done for day two. Tomorrow we are going to be doing the second coat. Thanks for sticking with us. Hey guys, welcome to day three of staying the deck. Um, so something we're going to work on today is to take a look at the boards here. Um, we were able to get on top pretty well with our rollers, just a few places we need to go back over. But in between the boards, it's really hard to get in the crack and get paint in there. So we're gonna try um, two different things and we'll let you know how they work. These are um, used for edgers and painting, they're um, replacements for an edger brush. Um, so we read that you can take these and you can put them dip them in the paint and then put them between. So we'll see how that works. If that doesn't work, we're gonna try one of these like baby brushes and see if that will work um, to get in between. So we'll let you know how these do at the end of today's video. All right, so I do think that this edger brush is working to get in between the, um, in between the gaps, but it is a little difficult to do. You have to be like bent over or kneeling down. Um, to use this so it's working it's just a little tricky so let me show you a quick close-up so I folded my like edge over like this so that I could get it on both sides of the painter and then you just kind of rub in between your crack of the boards and then you want to go ahead and smooth out this top so that you don't have any like bubbles developing on the top you want it to match across so just like that and they are much better than they were before. All right, I just did a couple of rows with the brush. Um, this definitely works too, and I think it might be a little bit quicker to use, but when you like shove it down in the crack, it's getting really frayed really quickly. Um, maybe if you have like a slightly higher quality brush, it might work, but this is really getting frayed really quickly. And it's not doing as good of a job and getting like deep down into the crack between the boards. I think I'm gonna stick with the pad for the rest of the job just to make sure that I'm really getting it done right the first time so I don't have to like go back over everything again. All right, so that was the end of all of the day three stuff that we did. Um, we were able to get between the boards on the bottom deck for the most part, finish that up. Hubby is finishing the last little bit for me um, so I got so tired being down there um, and we finished putting a second coat on all of the railing so that was really good that's it for day three we're hoping to finish in between the boards tomorrow and then maybe start putting up some lattice and welcome to day four of staying the deck I want to show you the progress um, and how this deck correct is working on filling in some of the bad spots in this old wood. So check it out. These are the boards where I have gone over with the edging brush and you can see it's really uh, filling in even these like kind of bad cracks and crevices on the wood. Um, this is where I haven't gone over yet with the more like more detailed brush. We just rolled this with our roller. Um, and you can see, so this, it still has a lot of like cracks and stuff um, where you can see like the old wood grain, but over here where I have fixed it up, I think it's doing a nice job of like filling them in. Yes, you can still see them, but 
I think it looks a lot better um, than this. Hey guys, um, working on the deck again today. I don't know what day of work this is. My guess is six, maybe seven, I don't know. Um, but today what I'm gonna be working on is scooping up all this mulch that we have right here um, underneath the deck. We had put this here because the previous owners had some like really big pompous grass growing and we did not want that to come back. Um, and I didn't want to use any chemicals or anything to keep it down. So we just put this mulch down and that works really well um, to keep the grass from growing back. But um, now we are gonna get rid of it because our dog just like is constantly messing it up and like pulling up the landscaping net and it just never looks good. So we're gonna scoop everything underneath the deck and put lattice run to kind of hide everything that's under there. And then we're gonna be planting some grass instead. So I think that's gonna look a lot better once it's done. Um, and today I'm going to be moving everything. we are back to working on our deck remodel project. Um, we're gonna take this lattice that you see behind me and we're going to cut the pieces so that it fits in the right spot. Um, with, and then we're gonna kind of screw it in with wood screws to make sure everything looks good. And when we're done with that, we're gonna take the pieces that we have, unscrew them and um, stain them. We're gonna stain both sides so that the wood doesn't like shrink or expand or anything like that, just to give it a nice seal um, around the lattice. So that's the plan for today. All right, so we just finished wrapping up staining the deck. Um, we just finished the second coat so that you can't see any more of the old color of paint that there was on this deck. So it's all finally stained with the deck correct stain. And we're pretty happy with how it looks overall. And now all we have left to do is move the furniture back on.
All right, everyone, here is the official final tour. The deck is all stained. We got just a little bit of rain this afternoon, um, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. And I finally got to put the porch furniture back and got all the new pillows on it. I think this area looks super cute with the lights and everything. I guess we got one last thing. Gotta take that tape off. Really quickly wanted to go over what we thought about the cabin deck, correct? Um, so it did a really nice job of covering up the different types of wood that we had, um, even wood that had already been painted. You can't see that at all anymore. And it does leave a nice kind of like grip texture to it so you never feel like you're gonna slip and fall um, but it does dry really quick like it would dry in the pan and we end up having a few drip marks where it just dried too quickly for us to go and get them um, and it required a lot of stain for us to complete our whole deck it took us nine gallons to complete it um, but it does what it says it's gonna do it's very thick and it gives a nice coverage um, to an old deck so overall we really liked it just be prepared to buy a little bit more than you expect and actually so I already talked about how you want to give your deck a good uh, sand. Cut. Let me see that clip, please. Are you? <laughs> um, what's the word? Super. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, hold on.